So let's connect uh, a new user, so I'll create a new user uh, in our schema. So we're currently logged in as the system uh, user, which is going to be like the admin user, the manager of the database. We shouldn't use that for anything other than for admin kind of purposes. So we're going to create a new user. Uh, it's going to call Brendan, right, in this particular case. So it's create user Brendan identify password as, you know, password one. So let's uh, run that. I get to do that. And we get to see the message down here that, you know, Brendan use has been uh, granted. And, you know, generally, you know, there's a whole load of different system privileges that you should grant to kind of to each user and depending on their role within the database and how they're going to use the database you might want to give them kind of a, a different set of privileges so more restrictive than others and so forth but what we have you know within 23 AI is, is this uh, DB developer role um, and we'll have a look at some of the privileges that it has in a, in a moment so but they give kind of a basic set of, of privileges to a particular schema so let's kind of run that now so we've granted the, we've created the user, we've granted a role to it. And the next thing we need to do is actually create a connection to that user. So what we're going to do is open our connections again. We're going to create a new connection. And this time, so again, kind of giving it some, uh, some information. I'm going to call that Brandon. Okay, the authentication type username is going to be Brendan. Password is what's that? Password one. Connection type. Then we have local host. Host and let me just move that down so we have a little bit more room. And what we have is free pluggable DB one. And we do a test. All right, so to pass the test, so we can save that. And when we connect to it, we should get a database connection. So let's try that again. No password provided. Okay, so I didn't save the password. So let me go back in here and one. And this is what I should have done, just like I did before, is save that. And now when I do it, we get the connection symbol. And if we kind of open up a SQL worksheet, we can do say select um, select say star from user underscore tables. That's a, a, a pointless kind of command because we can actually just go over and see that. We get to see that, well, that query doesn't actually retrieve any data because we don't have any tables in our schema. All right. Now I mentioned before that we could actually check to see what kind of privileges um, we, we have. So one of the things I can do is I can change that to session underscore priz order by one, which would be the first column in it. So let's run that. And we get to see all the different kind of system privileges from being able to create lots of different things. You know, just actually quite a lot there that, that, that you're allowing the user to do, but you know, from an initial kind of setup, that's kind of a, a good way to get going. So now we can start you know, creating our tables and doing all our typical kind of uh, CRUD, uh, commands um, just like you would do normally oh, autocomplete got a bit carried away column one let's say we're going to do it as a number we'll make it primary key Two really bad naming, but okay. So I forgot to close the brackets up there. And if we uh, take that, 
uh, run it. We should be able to get the details listed, but I have an extra column there. Uh, oh, bracket there. Okay. So a little bit of syntax error. So put that in. I like the, the command that I want to run. And when we run it now, we get the command that we want, which is table tests created. Now, when we expand the view here, it may not appear, right? Uh, and part of that is that we're waiting for like that information, that metadata to, to sync up within Visual Studio. But if we do a refresh, we get to see that it appears now. So that's how we can uh, create a user um, uh, in our 23 AI database, grant them the privilege to connect, set up the connection to that particular uh, user, log in to it, uh, being able to look at the different privileges that I have, as well as create a table.